Hi, my name is Connor. I'm nine years old. And what sports did you play when you were a kid? Man, good question, Connor. Like, y'all got some journalism all in you guys. Um, so what I played when I was a kid, and I, I'm still mad at this to this day. I'm so mad at my parents about this, but they did what they could do. So I played one year of bat off the tee, right? And then I played football and basketball. So I never got to play coach pitch or any of that. So one year, me and my brother both played three sports. And then after that season, my parents said it was too expensive. And they said they were running around too much because we didn't have other people to help. And that's why I appreciate my parents so much because they were working and still found a way to get us here and get us there. My dad coached, my mom would be the team mom, bringing drinks and stuff. Like they just found a way. So I played baseball, football, and basketball one year, and then they made us choose two sports. So baseball was out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aaron. Uh, so um, I'm super small and I love basketball. <laughs> Hi. Nice. So, when you were younger, were you small? So, and I'm trying to make the NBA. Do you think maybe that's, like, possible? Listen, listen. First and foremost, don't come try to take my job. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> but it's funny, man. I wrote a children's book called Never Too Small to Dream Big, right? And I, I, I would never say that you're too small, right? I would say this. And... I think, I think it's in the book, but my college coach used to say, everything is as easy as A, B, C, right? There might have been a lot of basketball players who were better than me or whatnot, but first and foremost, the only way you're going to get an opportunity to show somebody how good you are is A, academics, right? Like school, like schoolwork is real. Like you've got to pay attention in school. Like A is academics, B stood for basketball, and C stood for character. Right, so at the end of the day, you're only gonna get out of what you get, get out of what you put into it. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. It's fun. So good luck with that, man. And hopefully, I'm still here when you get here. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my yeah. name's Delano, and I'm nine years old. Um, you what don't is? Have to introduce yourself, my man. I know you. Okay. What does it feel like to be traded to Golden State after being with the Suns for so long? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, I'd be lying if I say it wasn't tough, right? I had a home in Phoenix. I was thinking about moving my family, my brother, and everybody to Phoenix. Um, and I, I honestly, at the time, was hoping that that's where I would, you know, finish, finish my career. But it doesn't always work out like that. And when it happens, I always say this, even with the injuries that I've had over my career, um, you get a day, right? You get a day or whatever, or an evening or a night or whatnot to be like, okay, okay, such and such, man, this is what, and then you gotta get right back to it. Gotta get right back to it. So uh, I'm excited about Golden State. I'm like, so excited. I'm excited about getting to the city. I'm excited about getting on the court with the guys, but. Like I said, man, since I was four, I've been playing this game. So I know a lot of things. I'm really good at uh, math. I'm really good at um, maybe telling stories here and there. But one thing I know I'm really good at is playing basketball. <laughs> and so I get a chance to do that at the highest level with an amazing group of guys, man. So uh, I'm excited.